Immigration enforcement agents have swarmed the Iowa dairy farm that employed and housed the Mexican man charged with killing college student Molly Tibbetts. A team of ICE agents and local law enforcement spent two hours at Yarraby Farms in Brooklyn on Thursday morning as they looked around the property and spoke to workers. The owners of the dairy farm are cooperating with federal authorities who had asked to visit the business following Christian Bahina Rivera's arrest and Tibbetts' death. Yarraby Farms confirmed in a statement that investigators met with employees and owners, but it said it could provide no additional details due to an ongoing investigation. The Department of Homeland Security and ICE were leading the investigation at the farm, according to Division of Criminal Investigation spokesman Mitch Mortbit. Mortvit said that means the activity was focused on federal law and not the homicide case, which his agency is leading. The search comes just one day after it emerged that Rivera, 24, had been employed at the farm for years under a false name, John Budd. Rivera was arrested and charged with first-degree murder last month in the stabbing death of Tibbetts who vanished while out for a run in Brooklyn on July 18. Investigators say Rivera, a 24-year-old native of Mexico who came to the U.S. during his teenage years, was in the country illegally and is subject to deportation proceedings. The farm has said that at least a couple of its roughly dozen employees left the area following Rivera's arrest, which sent fear through the immigrant community. Dot Rivera worked there for roughly four years and lived in one of its trailers for free. The farm has said that about half of its workers live in provided housing. Farmed managers have said Rivera presented an out of state identification and a social security number when he was hired in 2014, and that they were unaware of his true identity until his August 21 arrest. Share this article. Share the company did not use the government's voluntary e verify system to check his identity and eligibility to work, although it's unclear whether that would have made a difference. Farm manager Dane Lang did apologize earlier this month for a mistake in falsely claiming to have used e verify in an initial statement on the day of Rivera's arrest, hours after he allegedly led police to Tibbetts' body in a nearby cornfield. Lori Chesser, an immigration employment lawyer advising the farm, said that companies cannot discriminate against workers based on how they look or how their names sound. The farm followed legal requirements to examine the documents and determined that they appeared genuine on their face and related to the person presenting them, Chesser said. Questioning a name or other characteristic would violate the anti-discrimination provisions of the law. During his four years at the farm near Brooklyn, Iowa, Rivera was called and responded to the name he used in the hiring process, Chesser said. He lived in a trailer owned by the farm as a benefit of his employment, as do about half of its 10 workers. Employers typically do not face legal...